What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. There is a vast array of fast food restaurants out there. All of them tend to have their own signature sandwich. McDonald's got the Big Mac, Chick-fil-A's got the spicy chicken, Chipotle doesn't have a sandwich. But one that I feel is underrated is that Arby's beef and cheddar. Classic roast beef, melted cheese, a mystery red sauce, I don't know what that is. I know it's good though. But the problem with fast food in general is we're eating way too many calories, not getting enough protein, and to be honest, you really don't know what you're getting because the suggestion the nutrition label is usually not correct. I mean, you got someone back there not weighing nothing out. They're just throwing things on your sandwich like a rapper at a gentleman's club. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna change that. In today's video, we'll be making an anabolic beef and cheddar sandwich. Everything you love about Arby's beef and cheddar sandwich without any of the extra BS added in. If you've been wanting some Arby's, but like me, you also boycotted them back when they dropped the five for $5.95 menu, then look no further than this video, cause I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And if the thought of eating foods you love that are higher in protein, lower in calories, sounds appealing, and the other diets you've been trying have not been working, then maybe you need something more sustainable. And the best place to start is with the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. Every single recipe I drop on this channel broken down in an easy to use guide that fits right in your pocket. If you're tired of the yo-yos, going up and down, losing weight, gaining it back, because what you're doing isn't made to work long term, then perhaps, man, this could really change your life. Link in my description, you get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So if you guys are ready to go to epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! So the first thing we gotta do to get this sandwich rocking and rolling is get our meat ready. What I have here is 96% fat-free deli thin sliced roast beef. They even got a little mock-up of our sandwich on here. And all we do is pop the lid off, great measuring tool here, sit it on that food scale. I'm just gonna go in and weigh out 112 grams. And then what I wanna do now is grab a piece of foil and then take my roast beef and sit it right in the middle. And then once it's here, I'm just gonna fold over my foil and lock it in here. And all we're gonna do now is toss this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's gonna heat it up. Foil is gonna lock that moisture in there and it's really gonna make this sandwich banging. And while that's in there, let's work on the sauces. Come on. Now, when it comes to making that secret res sauce, to be honest, I have no idea what that sauce is. They call it Red Ranch, but I couldn't find a recipe anywhere online for it. So we're gonna make a sauce that in my opinion is way healthier and way tastier. We got sugar-free G Hughes ketchup right here, some classic sweet and sour sauce, and some fat-free Catalina dressing. So we start with 16 grams of the fat-free Catalina. We're also gonna do 16 grams of that sugar-free ketchup, and then finally 10 grams of our sweet and sour sauce. And once they're all in here, just go in with a spoon, mix it up until it's the same same consistency throughout. And I'm telling y'all, anybody making this at home, try this red sauce and tell me it does not taste exactly like the Arby's version. You're gonna love it. And when it comes to bread, I'm using a 140 calorie brioche style bun. I actually bought this from the bakery section of my Kroger, but if you can't find this, almost every grocery has nature's own butter buns in the regular bread aisle. You can use those too. I just saw these, saw the calories were similar, figured it'd make for a banging sandwich. So I'm gonna set this out so she's ready for build time. And the last thing we're gonna do is whip up an anabolic cheese sauce. I got a tiny little saucepan here. Now I'm gonna pour in 45 grams of unsweetened almond milk. I'm gonna flip the temperature to like a medium and I'm gonna wait till this starts to steam. And now that she started to steam, what I'm gonna do is take 56 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese and pour it right in. Then I'm just gonna go in with a whisk and keep whisking it together for about a minute or two until that cheese breaks down, combines with our almond milk and creates a nice cheese sauce. All right, roast beef is out of the oven, now we build. Layer one, we're gonna take our red sauce, spread it on the bottom bun. Step two, we take our roast beef, sit it right on here. Oh, it smells so good. And step three, we just take our melted cheese sauce and put it right here on top. Oh baby. And then last but not least, we just throw on that top bun. And boom. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the anabolic beef and cheddar.
and in no time at all, we were able to recreate a fast food favorite right in the comfort of our own kitchen. The best part is we know exactly what's in this. We know that it's higher in protein, lower in calories, and overall, after eating it, we're gonna be way better off. If you made it this far into the video, please smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below for the algorithm, hit that subscription button, and before this gets cold, I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to pull up a chair, strap on the old feet bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Let's get it popping. Ooh, but first, if you want to flavor your gallon of water, I've been talking about it a lot lately. This one, I'm a little behind today. I need to get ahead of the curve. But two scoops of Final Boss Aminos will get you there. This is Atomic Bombsicle flavor. And if you want a little energy, pick me up right away. You can just do a little dry scoop. Mm -hmm. Woo, that's it, baby. Available at finalbossformance.com. Could RGF10 will save you 10%. And announcement, the Anabars, right? The best tasting protein bar you're ever gonna eat. Boom and boom. We're looking at dropping these on March 19th. Everything's gonna be ready to go. So right, as of right now, that's the tentative launch date. So mark your calendars. I'll let you guys know if anything changes. You're gonna love them, I promise. Okay, get in here on this sandwich, man. I am so freaking hungry. Ooh. We're just gonna take a bite right off the front right there where that sauce is dripping. That cheese, I mean, we're, we're getting everything in one bite right there. That looks perfect to me. Three. Two, one, let go. I mean, seriously, I don't know how long it's been since you've had an Arby's beef and cheddar, but this literally tastes identical. Except honestly, in my opinion, it's probably a little better. It tastes a little more real, if that makes sense. A little more wholesome, family friendly. And I really think food tastes better when you know it's helping you towards your goal. You know, you're eating something that's not like throwing your diet off. There's always that like little bit of guilt you get when you eat like a fast food sandwich. You're like, this is good, but I know I'm gonna pay for it later. You don't have that with this. And we all know roast beef sandwiches in general, pretty good. We know the cheese, we know the bread. That's, that's gonna be good regardless. But it's that sauce that brings it all together. So even if you don't make this recipe, make that super secret red sauce and tell me it's not fire. Tell me it doesn't taste as good or if not better than the Arby's version. I gotta sit this down or I'm gonna eat it all. Now in this entire sandwich, if you make it exactly how I did it, which end up with for the whole thing is only 405 calories, nine grams of fat, 45 grams of protein, 36 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. 45 grams of protein, only nine grams of fat, 36 carbs, I'll take it baby. So to put it into perspective, on my diet and calories right now, I could eat five of these sandwiches in a day and still have enough room in my diet for a snack. It's that simple. You focus on eating high protein foods, foods that are gonna fill you up, you hit your calorie goal every single day. Failure isn't an option if you do that. And we are down to the final bite. Let's go. Mm. Gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Tastes identical to the Arby's version, except we're getting more protein, less fat. We're doing our bodies better. The red sauce is the uh, secret. That's the secret ingredient to this. That's what pulls it all together. It's sweet and it complements that smoky flavor of the roast beef. And I mean, it's, it's 10 out of 10. Make this one, tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you think. And if you tell me you don't like it, I know you're lying to me. And if you got the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, it has been updated. So this recipe is now in there along with every other recipe on this channel. Eating good foods, following a diet, building muscle, losing weight, staying lean has never been easier than when you have the ultimate guide in your pocket, baby. For real, I use my own recipe book every day. When I'm making these recipes on this channel, I got my own recipe book pulled up and I'm making them out of my recipe book. Plus you get it once, you get every future recipe I have for free. So if two months from now, you're like, hey, I like this recipe he dropped, but it wasn't in the cookbook. Well, think again, pal. Go get your updated copy for free and you got it. Appreciate you guys as always for checking out the channel. I am so pumped. March 19th, as of right now, is when we were looking at dropping these bad boys. I've been teasing them on my channel, on my story. I'm literally eating three to four a day. They're that good. I know you're gonna love them. So mark your calendars. March 19th, we'll probably do a midnight release, which means they will drop at midnight. And I know we're gonna sell out. I just know it. So if you want to get in there, man, you might wanna be checking your calendars at midnight for the launch. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below for that algorithm. Give me some video ideas, man. You wanna see me make something that's not a recipe you wanna see, I don't know. A video of some sort that maybe I haven't done in a while or something you want me to clarify, comment it below. Appreciate you guys as always. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. We got some, I mean, you think I'm leaving that there? You really think we're gonna? <laughs>